You wanna go outside there? Huh? You wanna go outside? Ooh. Fuck that noise. Sorry, bear. Okay, so besides that little joke that I just played on Bear, he's still outside, by the way. It's okay, rain doesn't bug him. He just looks sad whenever I close the door. Uh, but I today... I'm scratching at the door. <laughs> okay, well then let him in. If he's scratching at the door, let him in. Oh, what the fuck oh, just fell? My nine mils. Why do you have nine mils on the table? Anyways, Check today out we're fixing, or well, I'm not fixing, but Lucas Oil is fixing uh, Cooper. We're not a sponsor. No, I'm not sponsored. But... Could you imagine if Lucas Oil sponsored me? I'd have him like unlimited money and ATF. But today we're throwing in some ATF into Cooper because that was was wrong with his transmission. He wouldn't shift because the uh, there's not enough ATF in the torque converter to allow for like a clutch shift. So that's what we're doing today. We're running some ATF through him and some uh, Lucas Oil transmission also fix. Also, kind of a BTS like behind the scenes. When we did the montage where Cecil and Cooper were going but side by side, I was driving Cooper, but I didn't want to like go full blast with it because it was going 50 kilometers an hour in first. That kind of scared me because it was sounding like it was going to explode. He didn't flip my valves very much. <sighs> but, um, no, the goal of today is to put some ATF in Cooper, uh, run him through the gears, see if the transmission will shift, and if it does... We might even do a Bernie today. Like that's that's essentially the goal of today is to get Cooper to the point where he can do a burnout and rip around. But holy crap. It's miserable and it's raining outside, but I don't care because it's my last day off before I gotta go back to work this weekend, so And water adds loose, so yeah. Yeah. Well water makes burnouts a little bit easier. Is this so. upper or lower rad? That's my lower rad. Oh. Or no wait, that's my upper rad, sorry. I have to buy a lower rad hose, which I actually have a on order Wednesday so yeah that'll be another video that I can do soon uh, the installation of the rad hoses because this one's not bad until you see that and that one's the original one because you can it still has the stock style screw on top bolt-in clamps like that's old as shit oh Dustin I forgot the funnel can you go to the, the funnel just don't forget that that's I'm not going to it's a big white bag well, you can kind of see the truck does appear to have ATF, but that's because, like, it appears to be full, right? It's not. When a vehicle is running, it pulls ATF out of the reservoir, which is what this sticks into, and drains it into the, drains it, brings it into the valve body and into the uh, torque converter and all that, which empties this reservoir very quickly because it does, it only fills the valve body. The torque converter isn't getting filled very effectively, which is why we have extra ATF today. So stick the funnel in and let's... Into there? Yeah, into there. That's that's the way you feel it. Okay. No, seriously, I'm Whatever. not kidding you. All right, well, let's start off with the Lucas Trans Fix. If y'all had smell-o-vision, you'd know. Lucas Oil Trans Fix. This stuff takes so long to get in. It's like the... It's so thick. It's like the molasses. Like, look at this. It's, it's literal syrup. It's... Dude, this takes so long. Like, look, look how slow it goes down. That's actually starting to speed up. Like, that's that's getting faster now. That oh wow, now it's fucking cruising, but. Oh, careful, it's the top closed. Top is closed. Because that kind of scared me for a bit. It was going up and I thought it was going to start squirting like ketchup. Where's the other bottle? The other bottles are down there. I'm they're all, they're all down there in the bag. We need <sighs> well, we're going to put in... Uh, we're going to put in three bottles worth. And then we're going to drive oh, it around and then check it. Well, go through the gears and check it again. And then I got two more in case we need more. Of Take. ATF all over my frame rails, you mean? Like that? Take time, have patience. And my exhaust manny and my dipstick. It's gonna smell so good. 
Oh, yeah. Nothing smells better than burnt ATF. This looks like really, really, really old cholesterol-filled wine. Lard wine. Oh, yum. Ladies, we got something for you. Oh, lard wine. That's what I just said. I know what I'm saying. Thinking about it now is nasty. It sounds like a terrible, terrible idea. It's fermented grape juice with pork fat. Fucking nasty ass. It Fucking. doesn't sound very delicious at all. Mmm. Pork. Lard Ooh, wine. shit. Almost fucking. This bottle's almost empty, so we're gonna let this bottle fill. We're gonna throw just a little bit more ATF to drain as much of the Lucas oil down as we possibly can. Oh, there's some left in there? Tiny bit. Is there, like, how much is left? I don't know. Oh, no, I mean, like, oh, crack open one of the next bottles. Crack open a fresh one. Crack a fresh boy. Shotgun this one off your fucking head. <clears throat> Smash it off your head and shotgun it. That's the real way to do it. Cracking open a beer with the boys. Cracking open the boys with a beer. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to throw just a wee bit more ATF. Two shots of vodka. Oh man, dude, this stuff pours so quick and so slow at the same time. It sticks to everything. Ooh. Oh, I just got a bunch of ATF all over my shirt. Oh. Oh wow, this stuff is starting to flow like regular ATF now. Who would have thunked it? If you add ATF to things, it should flow like ATF. Pretty fucking interesting. Huh. Science. Alright, where's that bottle? That partial bottle though. It's that bone. Wow, dude, there's so much stuff just stuck to it, but I can't get it because it's, it's so thick. Fuck. We're just gonna throw just a wee bit more regular <laughs> ATF in, not to that bottle, to there, just to. This thing takes ATF like a VTEC takes oil. I mean, like just add a little more. You'll need it. Trust me. Yeah. All right. Well, this it it's hard to say how long this transmission's been without ATF in it because when I got it, it was absolutely fegging empty. Fegging. Fegging empty. It was. It's a miracle that this thing has shifted the way it has. And you know what? If the transmission breaks. It's probably because we were hooning it the other day without any in it because we're an idiot. It's your idea. It I'm was not, my idea. I'm not responsible. It was my idea. That's I, I, I admit responsibility. Great. Now there's water all over my fucking dipstick. Are you sure there's just not dipstick all over your water? Shit, you're right. All right. Pull the funnel. Pull the funnel. And stick it right back into this. Okay. This here bottle there, bud. This is your old bottle of Am's oil. Or Lucas oil. Not Am's, Am's oil. Boy, we're trying to get sponsored and you're naming it wrong. Calling it the wrong shit. So you I'm want a starter to... and... Well, the point, the thing is, is we're going to start it, let it idle for a little bit in park. Like a minute or two, and then we're going to go through all the gears a little bit. Let it idle for a couple more minutes, and then we're going to... Go into each gear and then move a little bit with the truck. Like, have the truck move in each gear. And then let it idle. And then we're going to go out on a short little road test. And then we're going to check the level. Okay, well, we got... Because that will make sure that the ATF goes through every single passage in the truck. We got to clean out the engine bay first because we can't bit, yeah. go without... Like, we can't go with bottles in the engine bay. We're not going anywhere yet. So, actually, we're going to start up the truck. Uh, where's my keys? Here they are. That's actually where I'm working now. Buy a vehicle, support my brother. Come, come buy vehicle, support support Redneck Enterprise. Or even just bring your vehicle into Quick Loop, because that's actually where I work. I work at the Quick Loop. Day. I am the boss of the Quick Loop. Quick Loop. You want to get a cold start? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I almost slipped and fell. What did we talk about last time? What, what we, out here, not here. Okay, I just wanna I just wanna demonstrate for you guys why your camera's so bad. Doesn't hold your hand how you regularly film. And now hold your hand how I'm filming, like mirror mirror it now. Exactly. Well I'm not that high. I, I gotta add about chin level for me. That's how you're supposed to film. This way. It looks kinda okay this way. You're all like oh, I love the I love the smell of your belly button. Look at that face. Second face. 
Bear. You ready for a cold start, Bear? Ready for some horsepower? Bear's, bear's nasty. Here. He's a nasty beast. Alright. Bear, you might want to move. This thing can get kind of loud. Might want to get out of here, doggy. <laughs> bear's just staring at me like, you dumb shit. You doing stuff? Yeah, Bear, I'm doing stuff. You ready, Bear? Ready for freedom? Oh, there's like shit coming out of your exhaust and hitting my hand. <laughs> well, then it's probably all over the GoPro, so wipe the GoPro. Yeah, it's all over the GoPro. Oh my gosh. Hopefully that's better on the lens. You guys ready for a magic trick? Yeah, Dustin can fit his hand in a Pringles. It's fucking stupid. You ready? Got him. Anyways, so now we're just gonna let the truck... We got him. We're gonna let the truck idle for a minute. And we're gonna clean up. So, well, let's do a five minute time travel, okay? Er, no, it didn't work that time. I didn't get the good snap. Gotta get a little bit of moisture on my fingertips. Here we go. We're not gonna time travel. We're just gonna cut in editing. Okay, so the truck's been idling for a couple minutes now. We're gonna check fluid. Now, the way you check ATF, if you aren't already aware, is you let the truck or whatever vehicle you're checking sit in park idling. And then we take out our dipstick, Wipe it off. Whoa. Looks like we might actually have a ton of ETF now. Then we stick her back in. Ah, come on, go down. Oh, wow. Look at all that. Dude, this thing is so full now. I think we got her fucking premium. I, I think she's premium. I think she's pretty fucking mean. I'm actually, you know what? We're gonna run it through the gears real quick, see if the level drops, and if the level doesn't drop, we're going straight up for a road test. So, what are you doing? What are you, what are you, get out of my way. All right, so what I mean by running through the gears is, well, you can't see the gear selector on this, but you run it through the gears by just holding still, throwing it in each gear because that has to force it to fill that certain valve body track that changes the gear. So you go through every single gear you have. So park, reverse, you can feel the truck jerk a little bit, neutral, drive. See, it's starting to shift harder and bam, it's not really placid anymore, so that's good. And then second and first are kind of just extensions of drive. Then we go back up through it. There we go. All right. Uh, let's ch double check the level. Make sure it didn't drop. And if it didn't drop, that, that means we're, we're good for a test drive at that point. So, grab a rag again. Get you guys back up here on the battery. Ugh. Dude, our level did not go anywhere. Ah, ah, jeez. But you gotta double check. Just to make sure. Oh yeah, dude, that's totally safe. We're, we're, we're set, we're golden, we're mint, we're ready to feckin' go. All right, so now we're pretty good. Got the windshield kind of sort of cleaned off. We'll, we'll have to see how that works out. But here we go. The the transmission isn't quite as bad as it was before, as far as hooking up right off of get go. Here's a real test. Neutral, drive. All right, let's see if. Dad, was that Antis? Yeah. You know, we're going to try it between one and two instead of just overdrive. What one and two is two? Okay. 
okay, yeah, there we go. shifting part of its job all right so i'm ashamed to admit but i consulted the master mechanic my father as to why this truck wouldn't be shifting he then pointed me to something that he noticed when he was looking at this truck which is uh, that vacuum line right there that goes to a modulator valve in the transmission which helps move the nut shifts and helps determine the rpm through vacuum pressure that wasn't even connected it had a bolt sitting in the intake and that uh trans line was plugged so yeah we got that plugged back in with temporary fix and now we're going to check the modulator valve itself to make sure it works and then we should be good hopefully hopefully so we're going to put the truck back in the driveway put it up on the stands and then check all right guys and I'm, I'm sorry i didn't get as much driving in today as i wanted because well there's a lot more investigation that we need to do it wasn't nearly as simple as i thought it was going to be so the next step oh geez i gotta close my windows actually but yeah the next step in you know fishing up the trans on this truck is gonna be oh just neighbor is gonna be uh checking the modulator valve on this truck so on a th350 which is the transmission on this truck let's see oh gosh oh right, where it is oh wow that's way farther forward than i thought oh, oh my gosh oh so much freaking cold stuff under here dude oh. okay okay so see there's that line right there i need to pull off that line see if any fluid comes out and if fluid comes out that means that my engine's been sucking up trans oil which is why buddy who previously owned this truck plugged it up and if that's the truth that means i need to get a new modulator valve and put it in but that's not a huge deal they're only like 25 30 ish bucks and it's like a 20 minute job to do so not a terrible deal but let's try and get that dang modulator valve or the dang line off so i can see if in fact the modulator dude this is such a greasy mess ah oh, come on it's kind of crazy how they just like let these things sit there by tension. Oh, come on! It just about wanted to come off. Come on, come on. Oh, dude, fucking nothing. Come on. Get back on there. There we go. Uh, there we go. No, dude, I think it might be premium. I think, buddy. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Ah. Uh, Oh, I'm so greasy. I don't want to hold the camera. But I think Buddy might have had uh, like a carb leak or something and thought that that was the origin of it because I pulled off the line and no fluid came out. It's a greasy mess back there because of the cork gasket that these things have. So I might at one point, uh, if I ever do anything performance wise to this truck, I'll be replacing that gasket nearly immediately with a silicone gasket rather than, or a, uh, yeah, silicone or a rubber gasket instead of that stupid cork one but for now it seems to be just fine like no fluid came out which is nice because the the amount that i drove it today 
with the vacuum line replaced and all that stuff, it would have sucked up a good bit of ATF through that line if the modulator valve was fucked. I might just buy a modulator valve anyways, just as a sense of security, and so that I have it if something does happen. But for now, oh, truck seems to be premium. And like, yeah, uh, this is why I don't want to hold the GoPro right now. <laughs> My hands are fucking disgusting, more than usual, at least. So, but that'll be it for today's upload. Yeah, it'll be a shorter upload than usual, and a lot more, you know. Uh, well, this one's more on the road oriented because actually we got on the road today. So, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you later. Have a good one.